My name is Rina and welcome to my channel. Today I'm using gouache for the first time and taking you along for the process. This piece is heavily inspired by a piece of paper I found on the ground. Yes, outside. When it was raining, <laughs> it looks like this. So yeah. I sketched it quite heavily with an orange lead so I could see it well I, while I was painting. I'll cover up most of it with gouache later anyways. The background I made totally in watercolor stuff. I wanted it to look kind of faded since it's not the focal point. I don't have much experience with yet with watercolors in itself but I'm starting to fall in love with it too. Especially after the last watercolor painting I did of the Dare Girl. I'm just doing a light wash as the first layer of the whole painting. And this paper is quite smooth by the way. And it's quite thin. But it's so long since I bought this paper and I don't know the weight of it. But maybe you can see it buckled a lot. And I struggled a little with that. And also, sorry for this poor quality of video right here, it'll be over soon. I was experimenting with different camera options, but I fell back to my regular camera. I use a DSLR camera for filming, but it's a little annoying since it stops recording every 15 minutes or so. So I wanted to find an option, but nothing I had on me now was better. So I use an alarm to remind me to reset the recording every 15 minutes. I love the trees that I'm painting now. Um, I found a reference photo of birch trees, as I love the white and black look of them. And I've always thought they look magical, in a very natural way of course. No. Oops, a little smudge. It's hard not laying my hand down in the wet paint. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it's maybe will get a little boring for you to listen to me just talking about the piece I'm working on. But I don't feel like I have enough experience with art to be like, I don't know, instructing on what to do or give good tips. If you have suggestions about things I could talk about in my videos, please tell me in the comment section. And now I'm starting with the wash. So it was a lot different to work with than I thought going into it. I have seen a lot of videos of people who are experienced with wash and they make it look so freaking easy. I felt like it just stuck into my paintbrush and it was a little hard to control onto the paper. I realized that I could dilute it more after using it for a while, but I feel like it takes a little time to get used to. But so does every art material, I guess. I really like the fact that you can layer it like acrylics and oils though, but it still dries matte like watercolor and I love that you don't have to paint light to dark. I am not a master of thinking ahead when I'm arting, so suddenly something is darker than I thought it was gonna be, and with watercolors earlier, I just <laughs> I sobbed silently while I was admitting defeat, I guess. But with gouache, I feel like it's not a big deal anymore. Even if I felt like gouache was a little hard to work with, I love the results of it, and maybe if I go to a better brand over time, I'll have some better experience with it too. For now I'll stick with the cheap ones though, as I'm in the face of building up my art room little by little with the materials I need to fulfill my quest of trying it all, you know. <laughs> it was really fun to paint an animal. I realized when I searched for reference photos that the fox is a very beautiful creature. Well, I could say that about almost every animal though. I love animals. And I know I'll paint more of them in the future.
And now I'm going into the last step for this painting, making all the tall grass. This is the part of the painting that I like the least. And maybe you'll see why when I'm finished. I feel like it darkened the whole piece too much and took too much attention away from the fox. Maybe if I had gone for a lighter tone of green it would have been better but oh well. And of course I could go back to fix it but I didn't do it yet at least. So there you have it. My finished fox painting and my very first go at gouache. To sum it up, gouache was weird but fun. And I like the matte finish of it all. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, please leave suggestions for topics in my comments. And just ask me questions if you like to do. Um, and uh, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye!